Are you seeing the mouse? Are you seeing the mouse? Yeah, that is the menu bar. Now, for you to use any document efficiently, you need to interact with this uh, menu bar very well. Do you understand? You need to interact with this menu bar very well. The menu Some of bar. us who are used to the old form of uh, Microsoft Word, that's the Microsoft Word uh, 2000, 2003. Then in 2007, that most of these uh, business centers Just used. Okay. You find out that there have been a lot of changes five, five minutes, with this present one we are working with. This one is the okay. 2016 or 2016. This okay. is 2016. There have been a lot of changes compared to the 27 and 23 version that most of us are used. There have been a lot of changes. So what they did was people were having issues. I feel let me feedback from users. Who are having issues finding some of these items under the menu. So they redesigned the interface and made it that anytime you click any of this menu, you don't need to go and look for it. Anytime you click any of this menu, it brings out a sub menu for you directly under it. So that you can easily do your manipulations and come out. So that's one of the good things about this particular package. Okay, so like I said, we have the home. We have the stats, design, layout, reference, uh, mailing, review, and view. Each of them have their basic functions. They have what they do. They have sub menu under them. If you click on any of them, you see their sub menu. So, like I said, that's what you can use to edit your document. Definitely, while you're working with any of these uh, documents, you need to interact with this menu very well. Make sure that your document comes out very nice. Is that clear? Okay. So the next, uh, like you said, this one's under the sub menu. The next part is your interface where you type the document, which is this area. Okay. This is the next part. This is the layout of the list where you type your characters, do your designs, and everything. They all happen within this area. And then beneath here is what we call the status bar. Look at this down part. Can we see? It's just below this white part. If you look at your document where you are, just below it, you see something like page one of one, zero of words, and the rest of them. It is called the status bar. This actually tells you the status of your document. How many letters have you typed? How many words have you typed? If you want to easily zoom into your page, you can come to this part and zoom into it. Look at it here. This is where you zoom quickly without going through the normal view. Maybe you come here. Now, these other three buttons are used to reshape your document. If you want to put it in print view, let me show you something. Okay, just click there. Click the one that's not print. Click. Just click there. Okay. Some of us might have once or twice trying to deal with our document or play around. And you see a view like this, and you're like, hey, my Microsoft has issues. I don't know if you've experienced it before. Have you experienced it before? Maybe when you were learning how to use computers. Yeah. At some point, you didn't know where you touched. You just touched something, and then you see something totally different from what you actually do. Is that clear? Now, it's because of the view you actually set it in. The type of view you set it in. Each of them have their way. You have the web view. One of them there is the web view. The next one is the print view, and then you have the layout view, right? The read mode. The read mode, that's this part, where you want to read, so that you don't keep uh, touching, touching or seeing your custom view. So these are basically for Microsoft Word, and it is also similar. We will bridge through the other packages, as Excel and uh, PowerPoint. These are basically what you will be interacting with, what you get to learn when we go deep into the program. Okay, so let's quickly open uh, Excel. Let's just see how that looks like. The same way you open your Word document is the same way you're going to open your Excel. Any question before we go deep into Excel? Huh? If you want to close, don't leave it. Remember, I can still leave it aside in case you want to go to Excel. 